we're gonna be working a little bit in Illustrator and then hopping over to Express to do some fun animation. So here you can see we have an illustration that do have everything kind of labeled so that once we export these into Express, it's a much easier to kind of reconstruct and rebuild this scene. As we export these, I'm gonna go to Window and we're gonna do our asset export window here. So the great thing with Illustrator, if you put your elements into groups, just like we have here divided up, you actually can just select all of your pieces in one swoop and drag it into your assets folder and it automatically pulls everything as its own separate group. And I am going to go ahead and export these out. Now we have basically everything separated and we can work now in Express. Let's start with like an Instagram square post. We're gonna go to upload and let's just kind of click and drag here and open all these pieces up in here. So boom. There we now, go. All our assets are there. So we're basically just gonna rebuild some of these and make sure they're like as close as possible. So now let's start to give this a little bit of animation, give it a little bit of character. So maybe with this, we'll just keep it with a loop. So yeah, so let's try like kind of with a yo-yo effect. Slow it down just a little bit, just so that it's not like consistently up and down. Maybe it kind of like yeah. over time, it kind of like builds up and it's like, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, there's that. Oh, sorry, what? These kids. No. <laughs> <laughs> And the cool thing with uh, Adobe Express Anime is that you are able to change like the intensity and speed. So how far mm -hmm. something actually moves and how fast it actually goes is like pretty much in your control. Now you can see on our layers up here on the right, we can actually select that individual piece in this group. And let's go into animation and maybe we kind of give these all like a real like subtle spin, like yeah. really like just so it's like yeah, kind of subtle. Feels nice. So now we're just basically gonna rinse and repeat and just kind of keep the same kind of motion going for everything else. It came to life. I like it. So we're just gonna add like a quick shape here and I'm just gonna pull from the actual image just to kind of pull this together here. Let's add a little oval here and we put a smaller one here. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's like, you know, as these are like moving, we almost can like shrink these. Oh uh, my gosh. So let's see, we can add some text here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type this out, okay. And we're gonna say this as Bloomer. And maybe this can be where we have an animation that actually comes in. Okay, Bloomer. That's pretty fun. Let's go. I love it. Thank y'all. Bye.